Hey gamers, Dozer from GG Gamer back with another emulation tutorial. This time I'm going to go over how to install the Dolphin emulator for the Wii and the GameCube. So let's go on ahead and get started here. First thing you want to do is head on to the internet and you can go on ahead and grab this file here at this link first which I've provided below in the about section and this is the Dolphin Wii menu interface configuration so go on ahead and download that and while that's coming through <clears throat> I want you to head to this page here the code.google.com which is also provided below and on the left under downloads you can pick either the 64-bit or 32-bit version depending on what system you're running uh, I went on ahead and got the 64-bit and then once you have both of those downloaded what you want to do is head into your downloads folder and then we'll go on ahead and open up the interface and we'll just extract this to the desktop that one kinda takes a second to get out of there so while that's running let's go on ahead and install the dolphin itself and we'll just bring that in right here okay and now we have this is the Dolphin emulator that we just installed and as you can see not much going on in this folder if you try to run this Dolphin EXE right here you're gonna get all sorts of errors and stuff because you don't have the interface configuration yet so let's close out of that make sure we're done extracting here all good now what you wanna do is go into this folder and you wanna take everything you got here and we're gonna copy that and then we're gonna head back into the Dolphin install folder and we are just going to paste just go ahead and check the box for do this to everything hit yes and that'll go on ahead and merge and combine all the files really simple setup for this one the guys that make the Dolphin know what they're doing this program is constantly worked on and upgraded and as you can see there's going to be a lot more conflicts so go on ahead and just copy and replace for all of them just to finish it up but yeah they fix bugs and everything and get constant updates on this so anytime there's ever an error there's plenty of forums that you can find and hit and get any assistance you need in getting it taken care of but I've had no issues right off the bat it just started running good and playing so what you want to do is usually I run the dolphin il.exe that's the one that seems to work the best for me and as you can see here I have one game stored away that I have on backup right now and I'll go on ahead and show you a preview of that running real quick emulation play now I can go to emulation play because it's stored as the last game that I played otherwise you can still hit file open and just run it off of wherever it's downloaded from as normal <clears throat> so at this start screen here you usually just hit enter to pass by it says you can't use other controllers with a GameCube blah 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 so just go on ahead and enter past that one as well sometimes you have to hit it a couple times and then it'll automatically load into the game and we'll be ready to play and I currently have this programmed for my Xbox 360 controller but it uh, has the option to actually use Wii remotes and sensor bars that are Bluetooth activated that actually I've seen videos online of them plugged into PCs and people using their PC as an actual Wii so apparently that is very possible but to be perfectly honest this emulator is a pretty heavy emulator it is pretty taxing on my machine here so if you have a really good gaming rig it ought to run really well for you uh, currently I my RAM is used up in a lot of video processes and I have almost no virtual memory left due to you know full hard drives and stuff like that so it does tend to lag on me pretty good but uh, I'm working to fix that on my personal level so if you got a good gaming rig you'll be perfectly okay so as you can see it's running pretty good uh, unfortunately I don't have any GameCube backups uh, handy that I can show you guys at the moment but they run exactly the same as this they'll boot straight from there you don't have to go into any Wii menus or anything like that just fire up the game you want to play 
And also another bonus before I forget is as you can see, these are not Wii graphics. Uh, the Dolphin emulator actually does run video games in full 1920 by 1080 Max HD and uh, that's a lot more quality than you get as you know running RCA on you know through the TV with an actual Wii or GameCube so you can definitely look forward to the graphics increase in this game too so I hope everybody enjoyed the tutorial if you have any other problems or issues feel free to comment and let me know what's going on thank you very much for watching everybody I'm out Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and sign up now at ggamer.com.